There's no strings aboard. There's love of mine. There's always you from the storm. Treat me nice, treat me good. Treat me like you should. Cause I'm not made of wood. And I don't have a wood. I'm not really a guy that puts an apron on. Oh, they're just the basics. I love, I love the spot this way. A uh, few beans, throw an egg with it. I've tinned the veg there. Basic, but. Uh, I'd rather not be doing it. I'd rather be playing the piano, the letters, I'd rather be working, practicing. I need to practice. My hand is perfect at the moment. No signs of burn on it. It's very badly burned. And, uh, so my mother and father came in, I shut my eyes. Suffering, suffering greatly. Much more so than sedition and espanol demasiado. Oh, they left, they were looking at me now. They knew I was in safe hands, and they left. And the minute they left, I opened my eyes and was chatting up to Jan Norse. But apart from that, ah, years and years and years ago, we were living in Flower Hill, and the pan went on fire. Miriam was with me, and Richard was small, young, about, I don't know, maybe, maybe six. So the pan went on fire. And we had a load of turf in in the, the backyard. So I couldn't throw the pan out into the turf for the turf would go up in flames. So I ran out of Flower Hill with the pan in my hand. There was a fellow walking down the far side of the street. Oh, this is this is the late 50s. No, mid, early 50s. A fellow walking down the far side of the street and he came across. I can still remember the way he walked across to me. Very definite, very sure-footed man with a hat on. He just took the pan from me and he put out the flame like that. Who was he only? Mick Hillard. And he used to live in our house in the 40s. And we took over the house from him. And he, that was the father of Colin Hillard and Oliver Hillard and all the Hillards. They were great runners when they were young. The Hillards. These dogs. They're doers. They only have it six months. Very basic, where I can sleep six taramaras here, feed six taramaras, feed myself. So far so good. Bucket of water, this sardine, this tin of water. We are now 2.11. So I play a bit of piano, I'm finished working. Dry my hands, leave everything as it is. The dessert is to follow. Ice cream, gato cakes, pears, peaches. Oh man, wishful thinking. <laughs> now I'm here for two years, Basibre. But I was here in Basibre in 2000, which is 14. 15 years ago, I came here first. That's why I decided on setting my house here. It's very basic, but it, it, there's room in it. People can stretch their legs here and hang out, nothing important. Except that I insist to wash up their delf after them. If I knew what I was setting myself against or up to whatever you use in the English language. I don't know if I'd have begun the, begun the trip. But there's one thing sure, and I know that without my piano this year, I was down the tubes. Definitely so. I was down the tubes. I would have had to pull the curtain because it was very difficult. I found the, the winter very difficult. We trying day in, day out, wind whistling, very cold. Yeah. But we're here. It's another year under my belt.
that. How many more years? 